the umpire, Michaela Benkova of the Czech Republic. Current five. Well, I've got eight in my notes, and I will probably sort that out. But um, let's uh, have a look then at the other side. At, uh, oh, in fact, uh, that was O'Neill, yes. Bautilai, he's 23 years old. He played a super game, and we've unusually have two lefties here. I'd like to just now introduce you then to Kevin Han, who is a former uh, American U.S. Uh, badminton player, has played in several Olympic Games, and although he was born in China, now moved to the States. Uh, all the coaches have got fabulous, not just coaching experience, but also the um, uh, they have been players in their own time. Let's have a look at this then. This is uh, Bautier Light's road to the semi-finals. And the first round, Cook off of Russia, he beat quite easily. Koch, Jürgen Koch of uh, uh, Austria, that was quite easy as well. So the first three matches, he didn't have too much of a problem against the Indonesian as well. He, he took it in two. But then, Lee Chong Wei, it was superb. He took the first game, lost the second, and then in a very exciting third, he beat uh, Chong Wei, who was the number one in the world and the number one seed. So a great, great uh, play there in the quarters. On the other side, it's Lee Jun Il. He had no trouble. Well, in fact, he had a little bit of trouble in the first round. I mean, looking at that, the, the best of three. He came back 21-10 in the third against the Indian uh, Anand. And then against the Czech Republic, uh, no problems at all, 21-10, 21 four. Against Eric Pang of the Netherlands, that was no problem either. And then a real close one against Chen Jin of China. 14-21, 21-19, and then 21-12. I tell you, it's going to be a real big battle here. It's all about momentum. Very tight. What's the loosest in the day's professional? Well, I think the, anywhere between 23 to 25, you know, it's very loose. So 30 now is... Uh, 30 to 33. A lot of people start at 33. That gives them power. Okay, here we go then with Lee Hyun Il, level. Good leave. Shun Lai is not just aggression, he's also got a good badminton brain. Nice radar there. It's a nice rally, this testing. Testing the breeze, testing the opponent, just easing it around. When is the coup de grace coming? Come on. <laughs> Both players are very patient in the beginning of this, uh, this singles game. They don't really go for it, take a lot of chances. Only when it's absolutely necessary, then they really go for it. 26 shots in that rally and I tell you that's a beautiful beautiful finish there from Kyun Il to level it at ones 239k we'll see more uh, of quicker shots than that but uh, it was beautifully placed great rally great rally just by start of this uh, first game I think Li, Shen, Li Huan Yu is very comfortable with the pace of the playing right now and uh, he is, uh, you know, this is his game style. You know, Bao Chuan Lai somehow has to find a way to push the pace up a little bit and uh, to put, uh, put away in using his height, his sharpness on overhead shots to open the game up a little bit. Dead. Wow. Well put away. Wow. Well, I dare say even I could have managed that. It was a poor lift by... By Chun Lai. Yeah, it was great mash up by uh, Li Huan Yu. So there's nothing Bao Chun Lai can do much just to sort of lift it back to, you know, whatever. <laughs> to no effect. Anyway, it's 3 1. Oh. 4 1. Oh. This is clever opening play by the Korean in the orange top there. Thank you. 
llegan a, a arriba, que no llegan alto, a la muy temprana. Y luego, bueno, por el propio sistema que... That's how they caught this time. Well, and for the sake of the spectators, I think the Koreans should do pretty well here because otherwise uh, we're going to get once again an all Chinese final, which is great for China, but not the best for spectators. No, they like, really. to, they like to get at least some loyalty going. Yeah, I think so. The English way over in the mixed doubles was really good, very convincing and very positive for the, for, for, for the World Championships. I think they would like to see a Korea in the final, but uh, you know, um, I think uh, Lee Kuan Yew is the only one alive in this tournament. That's right. It'll be Chen Hong and Lin Dan later, the number two in the world against the number five. He is compact. He's not extravagant, but he's explosive. I think he that's is. important. Picks up a point at three, six, big hit. Yeah, that's well set up by Lai there. He deserved that point as well. Beautiful setup. 263k. Again, it's not excessively fast. It's very fast, of course it is. But <laughs> it's. Um, I mean, we're going to see in excess of 300 sometime today. Special with the doubles match coming up with uh, Tai and Fu. World record holder in terms of speed. Fu, I think. Service over, seven, four. Change of shuttle. We've had some interesting moments during this week where uh, particularly the mixed doubles were... In fact, the doubles pair, I think, was blunt. A Blair and uh, his partner were complaining we didn't get underway for 10 minutes because there was the, the speed of the shuttle was in contention. You actually did that match with me, didn't you? Well, yes, that was yesterday. You know, I guess the Indonesia's in the mess that was oh, right, uh, quarterfinals. Right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, I mean, it was just well a lot of gamesmanship, I think, there somewhere. <laughs> but uh, very strange. You need to do that sometimes in order to uh, get psychological effect on your side. And the English did it very well yesterday. And uh, you know what the, the outcome was? They won a match. Yeah. When you haven't got when you haven't got the reach, you've got to dive for it. But uh, Chun Lai is really coming back into this one. Does well for six seven. Big hit. What's this in? 273 he's getting warmed up well you know he's standing at 190 centimeter so but if you put a half core he's gonna put away every time <laughs> That was superb. I mean, it was half court. It wasn't struck particularly hard, but it was just a wonderful knowledge of uh, of the court. Beautiful. Only a hundred. Uh, what? Two, oh, 290 k. My goodness. What am I talking about? <laughs> it didn't look much from here. But it uh, didn't look oh, much from here. But no. it was really a quick wrist snap action. You know, I mean, was a, a harsh match, but very, very quickly, quickly down the line. Beautifully placed. Seven all.
And he's taken the lead for the first time in the match. 8-7. There's a lot of Chinese support in here. 8-7. That's a real tough percentage shot. Right. And a very, very good call by the linesman. Seems like they are paying a lot more attention today. <laughs> There were some interesting calls yesterday, that's for sure. All round. We had a, some amazing uh, service calls. I think in one match there were about 10 service yeah. faults. Coming up to the halfway, and in this first game, and the Korean has dropped back by three. But this time, that inside out left hand smash. Goes beautifully into court for an 8-10. Eight, 8-10. Eight, that John Bo we saw there in that cutaway. John Bo and Leon Bo, yeah. the, the head coach of the Chinese national team. Yeah. She's, he's probably sitting with the, the specialized coach in every single important matches of the Chinese player. Gosh, he's tall. It must be so, so formidable to be facing him. I mean, the net looks short. I mean, we were talking 1.55 at the posts, 1.52 meters at the center, and he, he dwarfs it. Ah, there we go. We told you we'd get that magical 300. 310 for that smash. Oh, my God. That was a uh, super shot from Lee. He's found a vulnerable point, and it's not at the end, uh, sides, that's for sure. Strategy, paying attention to try to alter your strategy during the game is very important, and Lee has worked out that he's got to fire into the body in order to win this. This time he doesn't make the net, we come to half. It's 11-10 to Bao Chun Lai. Interesting, isn't it, the way that uh, strategy changes. Very that. interesting. You know, when Bao Chun Lai opened up a big lead from 10 to 7, then Li, Li Huan Yu all of a sudden changed his strategy. You know, instead of uh, you know, playing up and down long rallies with uh, Bao Chun Lai, all of a sudden he tried to take over the net and uh, you know, tried to smash from the back, attack a little bit more. So that's why he was able to pull back to 10-11. And smashing not only uh, to the side courts but also into the body as well that's uh, and at 310 kilometers an hour at, um, at, uh, I think that was at 910 wasn't it he managed that let's have a look at that the smash winners then suddenly uh, the Korean is ahead smash winners 8-4 net winners uh, just to Ch Chun Lai the unforced it's Shunil who was um, losing out there and Chun Lai is caught six in a row at one stage it's at 11.10. Second time in a row, he fluffs at the net. Shun Lai still bossing a lot of these rallies. Out of court, tried a bit too hard there, that cross court. They're very different uh, styles of play. It, it, it's amazing. Okay. It's, it's, it's definitely, um, yeah, like you said, very different. Bao is being the taller of the two, you know, he's tremendous long reach. But Li Huan Yu is, is, is the agile of the world, the, the, the two, and uh, he covers the core very well, and uh, defensively he is just superb. 
Good piece of play there from Chun Lai again. Just keeping the pressure on. In fact, he was just content to play the percentage shots, keep them good, and then uh, Xun Il just couldn't quite keep that cross court lift in. That's out of court as well, is it? No. Oh, yeah. Seen him try that a few times. This time it really comes off well. And this is now a very important moment. Three points in the lead at 15-12. Have a look at this. He's really... The shuttle's almost behind him as he plays it. Look at that. Then it's a wonderful, wonderful closed racket head. And it's beautifully placed. This time it's inside out and it's a good drive smash. Not so extravagant back lift, but uh, the same result. It puts pressure on and uh, it means that at 16 12, he's favourite to take this opening game. <laughs> Commentators curse, eh? Competitors, Chris. Well, Li Huan Yu, you know, really has to find a way to um, to attack a little bit more in order to uh, get back into this game. Otherwise, you know, Bao Chunlan would just boss the rally around. Ah! It's going to be really tough for the Korean Lee Hyun Il to play that shuttle high to lift it with any kind of certainty you can hear behind us the shout of Chayo Chayo we had a discussion about that call yesterday I, I was in Chinese Taipei uh, cranky in the early 70s it's the first time I heard that call when I was coaching a national rugby team and uh, I thought, wow, when you hear several thousand people saying it, it's really quite impressive. It actually means, you say more gas, I say more oil. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Are we talking about the same thing? Yeah. More energy. More Let's energy. Go. Fire right. it up, baby. Well, he certainly fired up at 17-14 in this opening game. And 18-14 now. Sayo. Well, I, I, I feel very strange seeing Li Huan Yu making that many unforced errors because with his style, he, sh he, you know, he should be making a very small percentage of unforced errors. Otherwise, he cannot stay in the game with uh, Bao Chun Lai. That's a very good point, and this is why he's down. Constructively, he's okay, but defensively, he is not making it. Too ambitious, with a consequence that he's back by five, and it's uh, Bao Chun Lai. And of course, having beaten Li Chong Wei, which is a superb sculp in the earlier round, the number one seed in the world, his confidence is sky high, and at 19-14, it's justly deserved. And that was out, so it's now game point in this first game, 20 points to 14. Bao Chun Lai, the tall, rangy Chinese player, Game point. Still five game points. 15-20. And that is it. A mistake once again. An unforced error. He went for broke, and in fact it broke him. 21-15, there's the Chinese flags. 
And we've got a really good crowd here in the Palacio de Deportes. 21-15, Bao Chun Lai carries on with his fantastic work. The fifth seed. All right, so the smash winners easily to heal, but that uh, doesn't mean anything when it comes to the unforced errors. It's going to be the big one. Net winners there to Chun Lai, which is amazing. <laughs> Unforced errors, there they go, really, really on the side of Korea, and that is the story. You have mentioned that earlier, and you read it well. Second points, not exactly irrelevant, but at 6-4. They are uh, important, as we come back to the second game now. And uh, maybe facing the little, little breeze, Lee will have something more to say, but... Um, just caught a little glimpse of us as we drifted away there. We are very, very close to the court here. No more than about three meters back, right behind the coaching position. As we go, love all. China serving through Chun Lai. And super, super intelligent play there. Very intelligent play. You look at Bao Chun Lai, he's never really out of balance. Even on the overhead shot, he's just looking to create opportunities to move to the net and uh, follow up with the finish on the next shot. Not looking to put him away on the first shot. So the Beijing Olympics, we could be looking at a potential finalist here. He's going to grow into this, isn't he? I mean, not only he's going to grow up much, I would hope not. <laughs> In the, I think he's uh, he won a Thai Open or... Yeah, he was the quarterfinalist in Thailand, but he, he won the Korean Open. Korean Open, that's the first time in five years he's won a tourna any tournament. Well, but at the age of 23, I mean 25 he'll be by Beijing Olympic time. He's going to be something. Absolutely Absolutely. Special. Well, Lee hyun is not out of it. He's at 1-2. Although struggling to find consistent form in this semi-final. That's what I mean. Everybody gets focused on these world championships. I think it's generally recognized that after the Olympic Games, they are the one that everybody wants to win. Oh, you are rich. Not only did he stay in that point, he had enough intelligence to realize that he could boss it at the net as well. Watch this, the best shot in the book. I see Lee wasn't up too yeah. far on getting it back. Yeah, I was <laughs> going to say that. <laughs> Almost made it back. Yeah. Out of court. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, we're going to see an all-China final, I think. Wow. Judging by what's going on at the minute. Lee, Lee just can't get enough points together. He seems to be losing a little bit more confidence in the second game after the uh, start so well in the first game and uh, just not able to keep up with Bao Chen Lai. Well, a little bit of commentator's curse there. Yeah. We kept up with him that rally. He <laughs> we really missed that one. Maybe that's what we should do, just put him down for a few minutes and he'll come back roaring I'm sure 266 was the speed of that one Patience personified, Bao Chun Lai didn't do any more than keep the shuttle in play. Chun Il lost his concentration, fluffed it to 6-6-2. Six, six, 23-year-old is showing great maturity. Oh, no, 
Now that is a mistake. He had a half court, decided he wanted to go cross court, should have put it into the body there. I think. Well, the angle is just, look at the cross angle, it's just too big. <laughs> and this time it was Chun Lai who lost a little bit of patience. But um, again, another lovely rally, a few touches at the net. It touched the net, the shuttle, but uh, still kept in play. I think technically it's a very, very interesting match. Yeah, when you see the game, how they change their speed, their pace, and their tactics, sometimes they uh, play a little bit slower pace, up and down, find, finding openings. Sometimes they will just uh, step up and uh, start attacking. So it's very interesting to watch them, how they change their game plan. Great defense there by Lee and beautiful net shots. Uh, oh, yes. Oh. That is absolutely superb play. Wonderful rally. Full of excellent, excellent retrieves. And good finish for the backhand. Backhand smash, almost like a Topics backhand smash. <laughs> hey. yeah. No, he's my hero, don't say that. Yeah. Oh, and another inside out. Well, wow. have we seen a rejuvenation of the, the seeded five in the world? Or ranked five in the world, seeded five in this tournament. I'll get it right in a minute. Got to the quarterfinals last time out in Anaheim, and he won the Indonesian, uh, not, uh, yes, in, in 2005, and the Indonesian Open, Open winner as well. But he's now conceded with a, an over hit clear. A little triangle at the top of screen you can see there signifies the server. And that will change uh, down now to the bottom as we go to 7 all. Is, uh, I think, 8-6. Oh, 8-6, I beg your pardon, sorry. Look at me, I'm looking at the screen, not watching the match. A few more in the crowd shouting Chayo. Quite a while, I thought that was the name of a guy. Chayo. <laughs> <laughs> well left, nine six. Well, yeah, I don't know if you even noticed that even Lee pulls back a little bit, you know, um, getting the ties to score. Then Bao is always able to just step up a little bit and uh, opens up the gap even a little bit more. Because that's really the difference uh, in the first and uh, this entire match so far. Good point. Oh, yeah. That's frustrating for Hyunil. He he was on the attack. Look at this, and then it's just over the top, well in. Perfect lob. Oh, yeah. Well, went to every corner of the court there. Seven, ten. And that's... We've seen that several times. Certainly, that if the drift is going to take... Uh, take the shuttle at all it'll be into that corner away from safety and that particular lift was way out to bow still has the lead but it's service with Lee at 810 oh that was much better yeah we're just heading the line exhibition stuff as we come to halfway in this second game 11-8 and the Chinese player continues to dominate 
Although Lee f is fighting hard, I think the uh, the upper hand is certainly with Bao Chun Lai, and he deserves it. And uh, you look at John Boy is giving some uh, great tips to Bao Chun Lai, and uh, I can just imagine him telling him to, well, just be patient and uh, play your game, and you you can always pull away wherever you need to. Look how tall he is. So Lee have got, has got to pull something out here, and they're the smash winners. He has won that particular battle. He's lost the net winners. He has lost the clears. But he's won the unforced errors, which is not what you want to do. <laughs> oh. And 11, he certainly came out bouncing, did Chun Lai. He had a very aggressive perspective there for that point, hoping to just pull away. You feel that Lee was controlling the rally. Its momentum has not changed. Good rally. Lovely rally. Oh. Bao Chun Lai is just so long. Even though sometimes he, he can't get there, he just stuck his hand up. Out. Yeah. That was super. Absolutely brilliant. A purist's rally, that. Fabulous to watch. If, you, um, if you're a youngster just starting the game for the first time, wow. You've got to be impressed by that. 10-11. We're in the second match at the moment oh, no, no. of nine. We're going to bring you continuous coverage of the semi-final stages oh. with one final oh. at the end of the women's doubles. We are live from Madrid from the 15th World Badminton Championships. Shayo rings out again. Shayo for Bao Chun Lai. It was in. <laughs> oh. That was tremendous defensive play by uh, Li Huan Yu. It is extraordinary when you consider. Look at this. Oof. 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 Super sharp. That'll give him a bit of confidence. Perhaps a, an element of luck there, but confidence for sure. And he's leveled it at 12. Oh, it was called long, was it? Yep, oh, it was called long. Oh, my goodness. Uh-uh-oh. That's a very important point. A very important point. Let's 281. Watch this. We couldn't see the line. Oof. That's a big intervention by Michaela Benkova of the Czech Republic. Gives it to Chun Lai at 13.11. called in so one was called out one was called in oh dear Lee Hyun Il of Korea can't believe it two points in a row at this very crucial stage of the match he's already lost the first game by 21 15 it looked to all the world that he'd leveled it up but he's now three points back at 14 11 that Lee will be totally, totally upset, not only with that shot, but with all that's gone on before. I think he's a little bit of a uh, devastator. <laughs> that's good as well. Oh my goodness, no, and he is really upset. Four points in a row. And here, oh my goodness, and Lee Hyun-il is in trouble, not just at 16-11, but because 
this was called in and again we can't see it on screen I'm afraid but uh, he's being talked to it was in there I'm afraid uh, my monitor didn't quite get that one but uh, certainly I've heard that it was inside so Lee has got to swallow the bitter pill get on with it or give it up asking for a change is he going to keep that same shuttle uh, keep that same racket should I say it <laughs> went to ground with a lot of venom there he's not going to change it well, I hope it's still got shape 16-11 this would be fantastic if he gets out of this hole he started well 12-16 well if there's anything to uh, get the blood boiling I suppose it's uh, the thought that you've been called uh, some bad bad calls well you just have to be prepared for that because uh, you know you know, every time you go into a tournament, you're dealing with new lines, but it's, you, know, you never know what the call will be like. So you have to prepare for the worst call and then not let it affect you. And just continue to play your game. But Li Huang obviously didn't let those calls bother him. So that's why he's finding himself down again. He's 13-17 down. 302k. Big hitter. Oh dear. Oh! Uh, he looks like he's really out of it. His hat is so, down. So, so annoyed with himself, with the situation. And at 18-13, Chun Lai could take advantage. Don, that's out, well out. 19-13, two more points and he goes through to the final. And uh, Bao Chun Lai, I'm sure you can hear that uh, shout in my ear from uh, the Chinese supporters right behind me. That's in. Called in. I'm surprised we didn't get a little sort of a wry smile or a polite applause from Lee himself. Fifteen nineteen. Is it too little too late? Does Bao Chun Lai know how to win this? It will be the biggest match of Bao Chun Lai's life because uh, he's never made it to the finals of the World Championships. It's in. It's 16-19. It's still a long way from uh, 16, from a comeback, but it's certainly a fight back. Oh. Out of court at 17.19. My voice is raised <laughs> in certain excitement because at two points the difference, it's now possible. Four points required by Lee Hyun Il, two required by Chun Lai. One required by Lee Hyun Il to force it and all square it. Now that's five points in a row at the most crucial time in this match. What will that do to the confidence of the Chinese Bao Chun Lai? Play. 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 Lee wants to continue with this momentum. 18-19. This is a great rally. 
brilliant rally at an absolutely oh, crucial time. Oh. 19 all six in a row. And oh. Lee Hyun Il, down and out, has fought back to level up this second game. He has lost the first 21-15. The crowd are really into this now. And Bao Chun Lai, the 23-year-old, has now mentally got to get back into this. Two points from the second game required. Oh, e, just long, just long, and again Li Hyun Il looks away. It's match points to China. Bao Chun Lai leaves it and brilliantly leaves it. Wow, six in a row. What do you think of that, Kevin? Well, it's, it's a great comeback by Lee Kuan Yu. But the 20 points is so tough because any mistake you ma ma make, it's going to cost you. And that's it, the match to Bao Chun Lai. For the first time in his short career, he goes through to the World Finals. That really is a very, very impressive performance. Chong Bo is really, really happy. And I can tell you now, all the, uh, the crowd here supporting from the Chinese team are delighted with that. A brave, brave effort in the end by Lee hyun -il, but he was unsettled. And there, I'm sure, not just sweat, but there'll be tears of joy right there on the face of Bao Chun Lai. He did brilliantly well. 21-15, 21-19, a little more difficult in the end, but it was an, a mistake by Korea's Lee hyun -il, and it will be a China final. Well, we've got the Chinese horns behind us, and I can tell you now, I can probably reach that horn because if he doesn't... Yeah, I've just actually turned round and threatened... <laughs> I can now hear myself. There we go. There's the story of the match, and it's 19-10 to smash winners. That's an interesting one, but look at the unforced errors. That's the story. 25-11 against Lee Hyun Il. He tried hard. He couldn't make it in the end. A brave effort, but it's going to be China versus China in the men's singles final.